oily congested skin. The kit that we have for that is a, a, a kit that has seven items in it and let's just talk about what oily congested skin looks like before we even get going into the kit. An oily congested skin is a skin that has blackheads all over it as an oily skin is uh, it, it's oily everywhere even inside the ear there's blackheads inside the ear so it, uh, it, it can be in large pores, it's usually, you know, one gets shiny around midday-ish, um, an oily skin. It's where the sebaceous glands are just active, really active, and the body's producing a little bit more of that male hormone to keep that activity there for the oil. So um, congested is bumps under the skin, mostly you'll see them here, but you can see them anywhere. You can see them around the chin area as well. So an oily congested skin, that's what it looks like. Oil, blackheads, open pores, um, bumps under the skin. Sometimes pustules, papules, and even hormonal can have some painful hormonal ones there too. So what is in within the kit? These are the products that are within the kit. The K cleanser, a non-foaming gel cleanser, and it's important not to dry that outer layer of the skin because we want oil to be able to get out. You don't wanna use anything foaming that's gonna strip the skin and make the skin tight and squeaky clean, and that tightness keeps oil inside. We want oil to be able to get out because if you keep it inside, your pores are gonna get larger. So the cleanser, the non-foaming gel cleanser, um, you work it into clean, dry hands, massage it into your face, doing circular motions, getting under any fine facial hair, carry that down onto the neck area. Count to 30 to 60 seconds when you are massaging in your cleanser. It's really important that you clean your skin well, especially when your skin is oily. You have to cleanse your skin really well. In the PM, you should be doing it twice a day. Uh, t twice at night is really important because that first cleanse you're going to take off with a clean warm wet washcloth the second cleanse you're going to be putting it on your clean dry hands again massaging it into your face and just rinsing it off with lukewarm water <clears throat> the second step for the oily congested skin kit is the healing gel and that is your second step both a.m. and p.m you put a, a coating of that gel on, it stays on the skin, it will dry into the skin, and that's all you need to do. If you are going to the gym, that is sufficient to just walk out, go to the gym where you're gonna be sweating a lot. Uh, you don't have to do your full regimen, just the cleanser and the healing gel is sufficient. Um, but it is the second step of the kit. The third um, product for the daytime is that you're going to have the P normalizing cream in the kit. The P normalizing cream is a cream that does have um, the acids, your alpha hydroxy acids, and it also has the um, a little bit of the urea peroxide and things in it as well. So it really helps with keeping inflammation at bay. It helps with any little marks on the skin and just pimples. Um, oiliness and pimples. So that one can be used um, in the morning. Uh, it can also be used at night time. So the, that is your P, your normalizing cream. It is an active product. So if you are using it in the daytime, you do need to be putting your sunscreen over top of it. Um, the other items that are come in that kit is the Y cream. As your skin starts to get better and you start to get less pimples and um, less congestion, and your skin is feeling a little bit drier, we have the Y cream, which is a, a, a cream for young skin. It's a moisturizer that is a light moisturizer that doesn't have a lot in it. It's not an active product, but it's a moisturizer that is good when your skin starts to improve and you're feeling that you need to have just a regular moisturizer and not anything active because your skin might be a little bit irritated or a little bit dry. So that's what the Y cream is. The other product that we have, which is your nighttime serum, is your retinol serum. And that is a strong, it's a retinol product. That is something that you use at nighttime. It is put on after your healing gel. So it's now your third step in your PM regimen. And then over top of that, you could put a little bit of your Y cream over top of that, which is a moisturizer. It is not recommended to put the P acne, open acne cream, normalizing acne cream on where after you put on your retinal serum. You want to put on your retinal and your AHAs at different times in your regimen. Your P normalizing cream, as I said, though, you can use that in the AM and the PM. 
So if you are using it in the PM, you just don't want to be using it with your retinol that night, okay? Retinols are strong. You don't want to use it every single day on your face or every single night. It's a nighttime application. You want to be maybe using it two or three nights a week and no more until your skin gets used to it. You can up it a little bit. But if your skin starts to get a little bit red, a little bit dry or a little bit sensitive, stop your retinol. Just go back to using it once a week and make sure you always put it on over top of your healing gel. The other item that you have in the kit is the purifying mask. The purifying mask is a great mask for oily congested skin. It has a light brightening effect on the skin. You can use it once or twice a week. Uh, it's soothing and calming. So when you're with your application um, with a purifying mask as you would cleanse your skin, um, you could put a little bit of the healing gel on your skin and then put a little bit of the purifying mask over top. You can also put mix a little bit of your healing gel with your purifying mask or you can just put your purifying mask directly on a clean skin. I don't usually recommend leaving a mask to dry too much on the skin because most skin types I see are surface dry even when they're oily. They're oily underneath and dry on top. If you are somebody living in a humid climate and you have no surface dehydration but you're just oily, it's okay to let it set on your skin and leave it on the 10 to 12 minutes. But if you are oily underneath, dry on top, only leave it on your skin for two to five minutes. It doesn't need to stay on a long time, but work it into the skin and, and then just leave it on a few minutes. Take it off with a warm, wet washcloth and that's the best way to remove that. And the exfoliating mask is something that you want to do. Oily skins need exfoliation. The exfoliating mask has an absorbing effect on the, um, the, dead, on the um, dead cells, which within a pore is a blackhead is made up of bacteria, dead cells, and sebum. So what the exfoliating mask is, it absorbs the dead cells, it pulls it out of the pore, it keeps your pores really clean. And that's important and it keeps that dryness from um, building up on the outside of the skin. So the exfoliating mask is a really important product for an oily um, congested skin and that could be used as much as twice a week, three times a week is also fine, uh, or even just once a week if it's not needed. So um, it doesn't need to stay on the skin a long time. Um, it again should be worked into the skin like the mask for a little bit and it can be left on the skin as, as simple you know, as two minutes or it could be left on five or eight minutes. Um, if your skin is sensitive, you may not want to leave it on too long and you do want to wash the exfoliating mask off with cold, cool water. So either a cool, warm, whip, a cool, cool washcloth or just cool water to rinse that off. So those are your products there for your oily congested skin. And that is the K, the healing gel, the K is your cleanser, the healing gel, the Q flavonoid is the, um, the serum that is the darkish colored serum that you can put on your skin at night time. Um, it's a serum that helps with marks on the skin. But again, you, if your skin is really oily and you have a lot of activity, you may not want to use the Q in the beginning. You might just want to keep that for once the activity is not as um, is that you're not as active, you're not breaking out as much because where the Q really helps you, the flavonoid, is it helps with scarring and it helps with feeding if the skin's really surface dry. So you could mix a little bit of it with your healing gel at night time before you put on your retinal serum. That's a really good way of using the Q flavonoid. So we've got the K cleanser, we've got the healing gel, we've got our Q flavonoid serum for our nighttime PM regimen prior to our retinal serum. Um, you've got your Y cream, you've got which is your regular moisturizer, not active, so it doesn't have retinol or AHA in it. Uh, if you're feeling a little sensitive or dry, your P normalizing uh, cream, which is your cream for your pimples, where um, you can, you know, be putting that everywhere on the face if you're really oily and really broken out, or you could just use it as a spot treatment. So um, that you've got that one, you've got your retinal serum. Um, you've got your purifying mask and you've got your exfoliating mask. So I think that's actually eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that one's actually nine products in that kit. Nine products, K, H, Q, Y, P, uh, a retinal serum, um, purifying mask and the exfoliating mask. So that's how you use the products for the kit that is for oily congested skin. Bye.